Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about the trailer for The Flash Season 7, Episode 17, aka the 150th episode, aka the first part of the two-part finale for Season 7. So, this is a big trailer, this is going to be a big episode, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So we all know the 150th episode is supposed to be huge, and this last episode, last night, just set that up in a huge way. So we got the reveal of Bart Allen, he showed up for the very first time, alongside a return in Nora, also Nora has different colour lightning, it's just purple, which we'll get to later in this video, but also that's going to be one of my theory videos that I'm going to do over the next couple of days. Got lots of stuff to talk about about last night's episode, so please be sure to stick around on the channel. So that set up that aspect of the 150th episode. We also have more returning special guests, which we actually get a glimpse at in this trailer, and we're going to get to that later in the video. However, for now, let's go ahead and start breaking down the trailer, shot by shot, going through everything that is happening. Okay, so in the voice overlay, Chester says Barry's kids showed up from the future. And so obviously this is like recapping to people that weren't there, or, you know, it's just like a simple line of dialogue. And so we see the whole family hugging, we got Bart and Nora hugging for some reason, but then also, I think the whole reason is because Iris has returned, Barry is super happy look at the smile on his face but the big question here is how is iris back why is she back because they set up something huge last episode in that iris was phasing in and out of the normal timeline we don't have the explanation but maybe with bart and nora here something has stabilized with inside iris potentially but we'll get into that a bit later so outside we have Bart, he's on the street, and this is one of the scenes where the god speeds attack him because we've seen this stuff from behind the scenes looks, and he definitely in this scene is being overwhelmed or is about to be overwhelmed by the god speeds. And we got a shot of Chester, this is him again saying this thing about how Barry and Iris' kids from the future are here. And so then it cuts to a shot of his kids, and so they're in Barry's lab in CCPD. So it's Nora and Bart and they're all fully suited up in their costumes, they don't have their masks on, it must be noted, and they are super excited, and it seems like Bart is very, very excitable, they are definitely going the comic book way. Bart is normally a very, very lively character, and it seems like they are really, really going into that. If you didn't get the impression from that initial poster they put out, which was like, kinda goofy, I think they're going for that kinda goofy vibe, and I don't think it's going to be for everyone, because I think maybe it's pushing a bit too far. Like, Nora was even too far for some people. Like, imagine Nora times, like, five. And I feel like that's what we're going to get with Bart. But I'm looking forward to it, because I like Bart in the comics. I like him in Young Justice. And I really do think he's going to be good here. So, you know, let's just wait and see. But for now, at the start of the episode, he's going to be super excitable. He's going to be very excited about seeing his dad in the past. And so we get a reverse shot and we see Bart's arm here and Barry is talking to him as they kind of all smile and they're all very happy and it's all jolly good, even though there is the Godspeed war going on and there is a proper reason why Bart and Nora are here and it definitely has to do with them. As it was mentioned last episode, in one version of the timeline, Nora's nemesis was Godspeed and so he is worried that somehow the timeline has changed and the future has changed. This is what he was so worried about in this last episode. And so then we go over and we get this really cool top-down shot from above. And we see the Speedster family fully suited up and using their powers. Obviously, this doesn't include Iris, and Iris is going to get Speedster powers. However, I'm pretty sure it's going to happen in the finale. And maybe that has something to do with her phasing in and out of the timeline. But you can see Bart's lightning is yellow it's very yellow just like in flash i don't think it's anything to do with his speed maybe he is a little bit slower than barry but i don't think it's that significant anymore because they haven't even ever bothered to like explain nor is lightning what does the purple mean or anything like the accelerator man they have never gone into that however it must be noted that nora normally has yellow and purple lightning what they've done here is they've split 
Nora's lightning colors between the two characters, between Nora and Bart, meaning that they are twins. So I thought that was like a pretty neat touch that they added at the end of last episode and some people inferred it and it's pretty obvious that they've just split up her colors and that's why she has purple because in this timeline she is a twin and she only has one of the color lightnings and she has irises. Okay, so moving on to the special guest stars and as the voiceover narration says, with special guests you don't want to miss. Super exciting and the shot is of Jay Garrick's helmet on the ground as he picks it up. We get this cool shot of him putting the helmet on and it seems like he's been attacked at a certain place. Maybe it's his apartment, maybe it's somewhere else, I'm not entirely sure. But he is surrounded by many Godspeeds. We don't know which Godspeed team this is, however they seem to be there to attack him and Jay is ready to get in on the action as he says in the voice overlay and so he is going to be facing off against them and he is one of the special guest stars we're going to be having in this episode. I can't wait to see Jay back, it's super exciting, I love him. We're going to see him on Stargo as well later this year so that's going to be extra awesome. So more Flash coming, don't worry about that. We'll be trying to cover Stargo if you guys are interested in that so please be sure to stick around for that. Okay so yeah we get this final shot of Jay Garrick in his helmet, he's smiling and seems like he's got a plan probably to take down these godspeeds or at least get away so then we go outside we got Barry and he is being attacked by the godspeeds and he is knocked over in this next shot but you can also see on the bottom left one of the godspeeds is knocked down on the ground although two are still approaching him so it seems like he's able to at least knock a few down along his way whilst he's in the middle of these many fights that are going to happen. So they also go into a church and so Barry's here fully suited up in the flash suit and you have the Godspeed surrounding him but back outside in that same scene this is Barry getting absolutely demolished by all the different Godspeeds. Looks like there's four Godspeeds here. Nora is also in this scene and she shouts dad and as far as I know I'm pretty sure Bart Allen is here as well although they are being attacked like individually. I know Bart gets attacked by the Godspeeds and then Nora and Barry sweep in to get rid of them and save Bart but then I think maybe the kids are going to be saving Barry sometime later in the episode as to what you see in this trailer. Okay so let's move on to the final two shots of the trailer and in these final two shots we have Iris who is returning again I don't know the entire reason why she is able to leave from Dion's protection as of now apart from you know is it a plot hole or not we'll have to wait and see but this is what Barry says in the narration as he talks to Iris he says tragedy follows us everywhere we have to break the chain so this is talking about tragedy about death and everything like what happens if Godspeed kills the people that he loves the most just like Zoom has done in the past just like all these other different villains could someone be dying in this episode or in the finale it's very likely they do like to save any big kind of tragedy towards the end of the season so that you know it lingers in fans minds when they move on to the next season so I think there is a chance that maybe one of the Godspeeds ends up killing someone could it be Jay Garrick who is on the chopping block? That is a possibility I guess because he is a special guest star but nevertheless it doesn't seem like anyone is safe as they try and take down the final Godspeeds. So let's move on to the next thing. So we have some photos for the episode as well that were released along with the trailer and so the first photo inside Star Labs we have Iris and Barry and Barry is still suited up. Also Nora is suited up and they are here looking towards what is probably Bart Allen. And so moving on to the next photo, we have Nora in the background suited up once again. So it's just the same scene. And Iris is talking to Bart and there is like just a few different photos that are just different iterations of that. If I was to guess what is going down here, I would say it's a little bit of a confrontation because I think they've already met as far as what we've seen in the trailer because they have that big hug inside the speed lab so this is in the cortex so it's a completely different scene and it looks like 
with Bart having his hands on his hips. Possibly they're in the middle of a disagreement. Maybe this is just after he's revealed why they came back to the past and maybe Iris doesn't approve of why they came back. Could be something along those lines. But we're definitely going to find out pretty early on why the hell they are back. Okay, so moving on to a close photo, we have Barry shoulder here and Jordan Fisher as Bart Allen is smiling. Just a cool photo, I guess. And moving on from here, we have a couple more cool ones. We've got Barry, and so Grant has got his arms folded as he stares into the distance, and it looks like this is in one of the labs. And I presume it is at like Bart or Nora, and maybe they are doing their big explanation. Okay, so back inside the cortex with Chester's cool device in the background. We have Nora in her excess suit and we cut in a little bit closer just to a bit later and Nora seems to be in the middle of something very deep. It almost seems like she's a little bit lost. Maybe she is recalling what happened in the future and what led them to where they are right now. And the final photo we have is of Barry talking to Bart Allen so that's about it for the photos. I am very excited about all of this. I am super, super hyped for the 150th episode, which is this week's episode. And you're going to be seeing people like Bart, Nora, Jay Garrick, possibly some other people. And I can't wait to see how everything is kind of going along and heading to its conclusion, especially considering how much they revealed last episode, like there was so much going on. You had the Godspeed revelations about the two teams and what their true intentions are about how one team is actually working for future August Heart and then one team is trying to stop them and they want to kill present day August Heart who they call Prime August Heart. And so they also find him in this episode, and now he is seemingly good. Kind of similar to in the comics how August Hart was good, but then he turns bad when he gets the power of speed and, you know, becomes Godspeed. So pretty much lines up with this. And then also what happened with Iris, how we're going to get the explanation that she's fine to come back without Dion protecting her. And basically everything that is going to head towards the conclusion, because this is a two-part finale episode so it's going to be huge and i really can't wait for it and i'm sure you guys are excited please be sure to like this video leave a comment if you enjoyed it also subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new you can click on the top right corner of the screen here to watch my latest video you can watch my review but for now i'll catch you guys later goodbye I see red.